Uh, hello everyone, it's Voodoo here, and I'm sad to say that I have to come with you with some very bad, disappointing news in regards to my channel regarding gameplay of PlayStation 4. As you know, I've been promoting now for this past week that uh, I was going to be able to direct capture PlayStation 4 gameplay uh, because I had bought a, an HDMI splitter by the company Sewell that uh, had been proven to work with the PS3 to remove HDCP with a bunch of different capture cards and it works fine. So I bought the thing and said, well, you know, it's going to work and all that good stuff. Well, as you can see, there's my PlayStation 4. All right. I have my Sewell hooked up. The splitter's going. There's my capture card. As you can see, it looks fine on the TV. It's broadcasting fine on the TV, but I wanted to show you what it is doing in my capture software. It is a black screen, and sometimes it will flash with the gameplay. There you go. As you can see, it's jumpy, flickery. It will not maintain the signal. It jumps all over the place, and it loses the signal. I have done everything. As you can see, there it goes. I have done everything known to man to try to fix this. I have swapped HDMI cables. I have rearranged all the cables. I have used different cables. None of that helps. I have fooled around with the output settings in the PS4 menu. I fooled with the settings in the Elgato software. I have looked up on the internet about this problem. Um, I cannot find a thing. Nothing is helping. So basically, it's not working. So, buyer beware, if you were planning on getting this from all the videos I made, I'm warning you right now, it doesn't appear to work. Um, it looks like for some odd reason, I don't know what it is, if it's the PlayStation 4 or the Sewell or the Elgato or whatever, it doesn't look like it's completely removing the HDCP. Because it works fine on the TV, but it will not work on the, so on the capture software. Um, if... Anybody has any information on this? If you can find something that I cannot find as to why this is happening, please let me know because as of now, I have to say there will be no gameplay of PS4. Not just tonight, but not any until Sony releases the patch. We're pretty much back to day one where I said I wouldn't be able to do gameplay until Sony releases the patch to remove the HDCP for gameplay because I'm not spending $80 on a DVI HDMI splitter, especially when I just wasted $25 on this thing that isn't doing what it needs to do. So, yeah, sad announcement. I really apologize for that, guys. But uh, until I can, until either I figure out how to fix the Sewell and fix all this, um, or, you know, if it's not going to work until Sony releases a, a patch, there will be no gameplay of PlayStation 4 from me on this channel. So, much apologies. I'm going to have to go ahead and start Call of Duty Ghosts tonight because I want to play and not record it. So, just letting you guys know, I apologize for it. Um, more information to come, obviously. In the weekly ritual in a couple days, I'll, I'll explain what my plans are, what I'm going to do. But, uh... For right now, this is the this is the situation, and it's very disappointing, but it is what it is. So, um, thank you to everyone for watching. Sad news, but uh, you know it is what it is. So, I'll see you guys with the unboxing video that I did soon, and uh, I'm just gonna be playing these games off camera until I can figure out what's going on. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.